Hi, I'm Max, and we're here with the iPad 2 by Apple. I'm going to describe how I enjoy the iPad and how the iPad works. This is my second video, so sorry for any of the faulty camera issues and stuff. I have a smart cover. The smart cover allows the iPad to close with just the cover. So instead of having to press the power button, which is located on the top right, all you have to do is just press it on and off. But instead, this is easier. You just close the cover. And the thing, un the thing locks. Pretty cool. You hear a click, that means it locked. And I'm going to first give you some information about it. iPad, you have the home menu. Most of you don't know. This iPad is running 5.1, 5, uh, 5 which is uh, Apple's newest software update for the iPad 2. And I'm going to give you some description about apps and stuff. Okay, first here, I'm gonna, the first app I'm going to inform you about is iMessage. iMessage gives you all sorts of information, like you're able to message any of your friends that own an iPod, an iPhone, or a MacBook, or any, pretty much any Apple product besides the iPod. They don't have uh, Wi-Fi capabilities. You have Game Center. Game Center, you can see right here, allows you to compete with apps and compete against your friends. So if I have Angry Birds, I'm going to compete against my dad or anybody to see who can get the higher score. Um, next we have here is Newsstand. Newsstand is Apple's way of letting you pretty much connect to their news. You can I have the New York Times on here because I'm a subscriber to New York Times and I can read my New York Times anywhere. It's pretty cool. Next I will show you Google which is not pre-installed on the iPad, but it is free from the uh, free from the Apple st App Store. You can voice search, for example, Apple, and you see it appears right there. Okay, and also, if um, you haven't noticed, I've been using multi gestures. Multi gestures do many different things. For example, you can just by the pinch of your hand close an app, just let it go. Or you are able to go like this to the next app. Either way. And if you want to get to your dock, you just take four, all your whole hand and go up. Like that. And there goes all your dock items. Closing dock items will save your battery. Now I'm going to give you some information about the iCloud. The iCloud is uh, Apple's based cloud that lets you pretty much store and sync all of your information. So storage and backup, I have, it comes with free 5 gigs, and you can buy more storage if you want. Um, that's pretty cool. And, you, it's, and they have their own email. You can set up your own email, dot at me. Next, I will show you is uh, Maps, which is basically essentially Google Maps on the iPad. It's kind of nice, even though it would be better with a retina display, but nothing you can do. You can search around. You just use your fingers to pinch out. Um, next thing I'm going to tell you about is I use this iPad for school. All the junior, all the sophomores and freshmen have iPads, and we use them for books. Right now, in English class, I'm reading Montana 1948, and you're able to take annotations, do whatever you want, pretty much. Also, there's very good games. One of the games I will show you, which got reviewed the best, is Infinity Blade 2. So, we start it up. Here's Infinity Blade. There you see a picture of me right there. I'm going to turn up the brightness so you can see it better. That will help you. So you can click on mode. It's state of the art graphics. They're very, very great. Skip ahead here. All sorts of things. Pretty much get the point of the game. 
what you do is you just attack people. So you swipe, block, there's all sorts of different. You pretty much get the point. Uh, there's news apps, more news apps that are not in the newsstand. Music, and I have a lot of music. And the best part is you can get um, iTunes Match that matches all your music in the library with Apple's cloud. And you get all your music stored wherever you go. Uh, that's all. Thank you.